hello students so let's continue with our chapter fibers from animals and uh, our today's topic is wool okay so wool we use wool in the winter season because we wear mm -hmm. woolen cloths in the winter season isn't it and woolen cloths keep our body warm and this wool is obtained from some animals like sheep goat yak camel llama alpaca okay so from these animals the fleece means the hair is cut off from the body of these hairy animals to obtain wool and this process is known as shearing means cutting off of fleece or removing the fleece or hair from the animal's body is known as shearing and sheep is the main source of wool okay sheep breeding so the quality and quantity of wool depend upon the breed of the sheep native sheep may not be a may not be of a breed yielding good wool the good in terms of quality and quantity so they are crossed with exotic breeds that is those found in other parts of the world which yield better wool for this purpose a native ewe the female and an exotic ram the male are used the process is called crossbreeding so the quality and quantity of the native sheep are not so good so to increase the quality and quantity of the wool our native sheep are cross breed or reproduce with some exotic breeds that are brought from the foreign countries and these breeds are mainly merino rambolet coriander somalia dorset soviet etc because these breeds like merino rambolet coriander somalia they produce a high quality and high quantity wool okay so these breeds are crossed or reproduced with our native sheep so that we can get a good quality and quantity wool and the native female sheep is known as ewe e w e and the exotic ram that is brought from the foreign country like rambolet coriander somalia are known as exotic ram or the male and the mating of the female and the male means the ew and the exotic ram is known as cross breeding so why cross breeding is important because the native sheep cannot produce high quality and quantity wool so to produce the high quality and quantity wool cross breeding is important the sheep of some exotic breeds yield large quantities of wool for example a rambolet can give up to 5.5 kg of wool in a year you can imagine 5.5 kg of wool they can produce but if we talk about our indian breeds they can produce only 1 kg or hardly 2 kg of wool so this which is very less but in case of exotic breeds they can produce up to 5.5 kg of wool in a year and for the cross breeding process only healthy rams rams means the male exotic breed only healthy rams are selected for breeding and the spring season is best time for mating the ewe gives birth to its lamb after a pregnancy of 5 months at the end of the rainy season a lamb lives on its mother's milk for the first few days and the ewe must be given a nutritious diet during this period because we know that whatever the mother eats it directly grows to its children isn't it so if a mother eats a healthy food means the child will also get a healthy food from her milk in addition to pasture grass it should be given barley gram jowar cakes of groundnut cotton seed small bricks uh, made of urea molasses so these all are the food supplements for the sheep clear next common indian breeds of sheep india has a different types of climate in different regions so all types of climate do not suit all breeds of sheep hence different breeds exist in different regions as mentioned in table 4.1 as you can see in the table you will find different varieties of sheep in india like in the northern region this type of sheep these breeds of sheep are present which produce this much Uh, wool only per year. Next, western, eastern, and southern. So these are some breeds which are found in different regions, and they produce this much wool per year. Okay, you can see that. 
the production of the wool per year is very less in case of native sheep but i told you that in rambolia they can produce up to 5.5 kg of wool which is very high next sheep farms so in the northern states of our country several sheep breeders are nomads nomads means those who travel from place to place means those who do not stay in a single place and travel from place to place okay one one place to another place in the northern states of our country several sheep breeders are nomads during summer they migrate with their sheep to the mountains where pastures are available and on the onset of rains they bring their sheep to the plains or lower hills you can see that these sheep they contain a lot of hair in their bodies so they cannot survive in the hot environment so during the summer time these sheep are uh, brought to the mountain regions because in the mountain regions the climate is little cooler and after that when rainy season arrives the sheep are again brought to the plain or lower hills however many breeders maintain sheep farms sheep can withstand cold weather due to the wool on their bodies they need warm conditions only during lambing and lamb need to feed for a few days after they are born mane jitia sheep bilake nijor puali bur jonmo di hetu time othe hiot golob gorom lage baki bur time othe man hiot gorom na lage aru hiot je hetu travel kuriye thake but kisu mane ki kore aku sheep or kisu man farm khuli loy aru he farm ot hiot rakhe aru farm khuli bole iman beshi proyojon nai just uporot ekhon duniya ke sali ekhon di dile hol aru tingore hok ba kherore hok just eta shed lage aru jetia hiot reproduce kore hetu time ot hiot golob man warm lage so in the farm simple sheds with only a roof and fencing are generally quite sufficient for the sheep an organized farm has a different sheds for shearing lambing rearing lambs and so on aru jibur farm ala organized hoy tat shearing lambing rearing or karone different different sheds thake mane ek eta shed ute hiotok na rakhe belek belek jaga rakhe jot shearing kara hoy hiotor body er pore hair to remove kara hoy tasot lambing kara hoy mane hiotor ako notun puali jonmo diya hoy so tenoka different different process kara hoy The sheds are cleaned regularly and disinfected with lime and bleaching powder. Aro jod sheep thake ta to microorganisms thakibo pare so jate kono dhorone bemar ajar no hoy tar karone farms bilak regularly disinfected kori rakha hoy thik ase with lime and bleaching powder. Next is shearing. So shearing I told you that shearing means cutting off the fleece from the body of these hairy animals is known as shearing isn't it? and in india sheep are shorn generally twice a year in hot states this can be done thrice also the best season for the purpose are spring and autumn the animal feels comfortable if shorn in this seasons okay so shearing mane hol ki hotor body pore hair to remove kara aro bosorot jetia hot seasons ahe tetia hot states bilakot বছৰত দুবাৰকৈ সিহঁতৰ বডিৰ পৰা হেয়াৰটো ৰিমুভ কৰা হয় আৰু কেতিয়াবা কেতিয়াবা তিনি তিনিবাৰো কৰা হয় ওকে এণ্ড দা বেষ্ট ছিজন ফৰ দিছ শ্বেয়াৰিং পাৰপাজ ইজ স্প্ৰিং এণ্ড অটম বিকজ ইন দিছ ছিজনছ দে ফিল কমফৰ্টেবল এ কাপল অফ ডেজ বিফৰ শ্বেয়াৰিং দা এনিমেল ইজ ৱাশ্ড থৰলি উইথ ৱাটাৰ ইন অৰ্ডাৰ টু ৰিমুভ ডাৰ্ট ফ্ৰম দা উল এণ্ড দা উল অবটেইনড ফ্ৰম ছাচ এন এনিমেল ইজ কলড ৱাশ্ড উল ওকে so before the shearing before the removal of the hair the sheep is properly washed and the wool obtained from these animals is called as washed wool okay and this shearing is done using a pair of scissors or electrically driven shears bad shearing lowers the price of the wool jodi bhal dore hair to nakate machine re ba scissor re jodi bhal dore hair to nakate tetia wool to ki hoy jay alop damage hoy jay aro tetia tar price to alop কমি যায়গৈ ওকে সো শ্বেয়াৰিং ইজ ডান বাই ট্ৰেইনড পাৰ্চনছ অনলি সেইকাৰণে শ্বেয়াৰিং কামটো যিজন মানুহ পূৰা ট্ৰেইনড হয় তেওঁহে কৰিবলৈ দিয়া হয় দে শ্বেয়াৰ দ্য ফ্লিজ এজ ফাৰ এজ পচিবল এণ্ড ওৱান গো এণ্ড নট ইন ক্লামছ দে এক্স 
and any accidental cuts are treated with an antiseptic like iodine solution aro kate thaka samoy keteba ki hobo pare shipor bodit kateta lagi jabo pare tez ulabo pare so tar jate kono dhorno septic no hoy tar karone antiseptic like iodine use kora hoy the fleece is tied into bundles tasot jikhin nom katile hair katile ekhane bundle kori pile thoi dia hoy ba industry bilakot pothai dia hoy so the wool obtained from the live sheep is called the clip tool so those sheep who are living so from the living sheep when we obtain the wool it is known as clipped wool and that from dead sheep is known as pulled wool okay so wool obtained from the live sheep is called clipped wool and wool obtained from the dead sheep is known as pulled wool next fibers and fabrics so the fleece is combed to remove as far as possible the bars tiny knots the fewer the bars the better is the wool jeneke ami murot ki koru phone use koru phone use kori ami mur murar jibur sulit kitaba jot lagi thake ban khai thake sulibo knot lagi thake hebur ami remove koru na nokoru so same ji tu ami wool palu he wool tu tu combing kora hoy aro tar jodi kiba knot lagi thake ba bars thake hebur remove kora hoy aro jimane kom bars thakibo himane wool tu better hobo after combing the fiber of the wool are untangled drawn to straighten them and then spun or twisted together to make a yarn and the yarn is wound on spool this yarn can be used for knitting of being woven into fabric the woolen fiber can be bleached or dyed before or after spinning so jetia combing kora hol tar pasot ki kora hoy dhuniya ke hihotok yarn bonua hoy ba jene ke ami bobins boli ko ba guli khutar nisina tene ke dhuniya ke pokai 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 kisuman yarn banai thui diya hoy aro he yarn bur pisot ki kora hoy fabric banabor karone ba kapur ba ulor sweater banabor karone shawl banabor karone carpet banabor karone so different different process ba kambal banabor karone different different process ot use kora hoy next quality of wool so the quality of a given sample of wool is judged using the following criteria so what are the criteria number 1 the thinner the fiber the better is the wool wool to jimani beshi thin hobo himani better hobo number 2 a wool of superior quality is more crimpy than an inferior wool so those wool which are very crimpy or curly they are better wools okay the fine wool has a shorter fiber length 4 to 12 cm than the medium 6 to 17 cm and the coarse 10 to 30 cm varieties okay so those for those wool fibers which are very shorter these are 4 to 12 cm in length then mediums are 6 to 17 and coarse are 10 to 30 cm in variety so they are found in different different varieties physical properties of wool wool has the following physical properties number one smoothness so a wool fiber feels smooth to touch next is tensile strength it has a very high tensile strength that is it can bear a great pull without breaking means you can stress the wool but it would not break very easily it can increase the length up to 70 percent when pulled in water so when we pull the wool in water then it increases its length up to 70 percent okay and kept stretched in boiling water for about half an hour the fiber does not return to its original length aro jodi ami gorom water ot tak jodi tani pele dhori rakho pull kori dhori rakho tetia tar jiman length to increase hol 70 percent increase hol no hoy he tu tenekei thaki jabo ki aro original shape holoi ketiao nahe next absorption of water so wool absorbs more water than any other fiber it absorbs up to one third of its weight of water okay so wool is a good absorber of water because it can hold a high amount of water next chemical properties of wool so first chemical properties that is action of heat it starts changing color at 100 degrees celsius but does not catch fire easily so wool it does not catch fire easily but it changes color at 100 degrees celsius it also becomes yellowish when left in hot humid atmospheric for a long time so humid means humid atmosphere means those atmospheres in where in which water content is high or water vapor is high so if you keep the wool in hot or humid places 
for a long time then it becomes yellowish so the wool on the body of a sheep living in hot humid region may be yellowish next action of acids and bases so it dissolves in acids and bases okay or acids and alkalis dissolve means it completely mix with acids and bases action of bleaching agents the fiber can be bleached without loss of strength means if you can bleach the wool fiber but it would not lose its strength it will remain intact okay next differentiating silk and wool from the uh, from artificial fibers because when we go for marketing or for shopping when we buy something then the maximum fabrics are made of artificial fiber but some may say that it is natural fiber so how can we identify that which one is artificial or which one is natural fiber by applying few methods we can identify that this one is natural or this one is artificial like that means first one is like absorption test so you can put some water drops on the cloth if it absorbs high amount of water then it will be a natural fiber if it absorbs less amount of water then it will be a synthetic fiber next we can test the fiber with a fire test if we burn a natural fiber then it burns very nicely but if you burn a synthetic fiber then it burns like plastic okay so with the help of this test we can identify that which one is natural or which one is artificial clear thank you